everybody. I am Dan, of course. <laughs> and let's talk about the new year, because it is the new year. So I'd like to talk about New Year's resolutions for myself. And seeing as this is New Year's resolutions for myself, I thought a self-portrait would be fitting. Now, I will say that this self-portrait is not 100% accurate. <laughs> I didn't use any references, and I didn't use a picture of myself or anything else like that. I look at myself. I kind of just wanted to do this the way that I see myself, and I'd like to see myself. Now, there are some things that are exaggerated. There are some things that are not 100% correct. And there are some things that I did uh, add because I just, not not that I don't like about myself, but I, I'd like to uh, draw myself in this way. Well, okay, let me just start off by saying that the reason, the main reason why I did this is because my wife and I, we had a discussion about how we see ourselves. And she told me, the way that we see ourselves, like even like on our best day, when, you know, we look in the mirror and we go, oh man, I'm looking good. I am looking good today. <laughs> Other people see us ten times worse than we see ourselves. Now that doesn't mean that we aren't good looking or, you know, we don't feel good that day or, or we're not looking good that day. It's just that the way we see ourselves, our brain plays some tricks on us. So I was like, well, if I draw myself without even looking at me, I wonder what I'll come up with. And this is what I came up with. It's a very static, emotionless self-portrait. And I did that on purpose. Because to get an accurate representation of myself, I wanted it to be very static, very bland, but, you know, still have all of my features and details within it. So let me tell you what I got wrong and what I got right. <laughs> when I first drew this, my lips, I've always had very, very small lips with a very high arch in my lips. And so I basically just drew a line <laughs> with some high arches and called it a day. <laughs> Going back, I looked at it again, and I was like, ah, oh, I can't, I can't do that. It just doesn't look right. I didn't look right. So I gave myself a little bit more lips than I do have. They are still small. They do still have the very high arch to them. But I wanted to give myself a little bit more. And my beard... I do not have a huge beard like this. I, I it's I do have a beard. It is a full beard. I did shave it probably about two months ago. And I have not shaved it, trimmed it, or anything else since. And normal people, normal men, <laughs> would would have a nice full beard, as you see in the self-portrait. But that is not what I have. It takes quite a while for me to grow a beard. Now, in my nose, I do have very large nostrils. <laughs> There's actually a time to where it was a very, very long time ago when my nephews were very, very young. They asked, why do you have a big nose or large nostrils? And my mother chimed in <laughs> with without even thinking, and just said, well, this is why you don't uh, pick your nose with your thumb. <laughs> Which was a good lesson to them. <laughs> and and I wish that I would have known that when I was a kid. Although she did always tell me, stop picking your nose. I did pick my nose a lot, which is disgusting. I don't do it anymore, but I, I do have very large nostrils, to where it looks like I did pick it with my thumb. So... In the beginning of this, I said, let's talk about New Year's resolutions. So this year, I would like to, well, have a bigger beard. 
<laughs> I like my beard. It's nice. My wife, not so much. But hey, my face. <laughs> she, I won't grow it to the point to where she's absolutely disgusted. But I will grow it to where I am happy. And I would like to draw more for myself. I have drawn a lot of things for other people. And I like drawing for other people. It is fun. It keeps my creativity going. But I'd like to draw more for me. And so I'm working on a different style. I'm working on teaching myself because that's the great thing about being an artist or art in general. Art is not something that you're just born to do. It is a skill. Everybody can do it. You just need to learn how to do it. And I make plenty of mistakes. I, you know, erase constantly and I don't use all the proper tools and I don't do this, but I'm learning. And I'm learning how to draw differently, how to draw better. I've always loved drawing. And when I was younger, my brother, who is an amazing artist in his own right, he actually sat me down one day and he taught me how to draw, I believe it was a dolphin. Now, I was probably around about eight, nine years old, and he basically just said, look at the picture, draw a small line. Look at the picture, draw another small line. And that's how I learned how to draw, was from looking at something. And a lot of artists will say, oh, you're not an artist if you have to look at something. And that's just simply not true. Looking at the world around you, looking at the way and the shapes of things is how you draw. There is nobody in this world that can go, I'm going to draw a meerkat and just perfectly draw a meerkat. You have to look at a meerkat. You have to know the shapes of a meerkat. And that's how you learn to draw. And so that's what I did. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to relearn how to draw and take you along on that journey. Also, for this New Year's, I would like to, for this new year, I would like to spend more time with my family. Not that I don't spend enough time with them now. I'm a stay-at-home dad. I spend all day with my family. But in the sense of going out and doing things, I'm a homebody. I love being at home. I don't like going out. <laughs> and so I would like to change that and go out more, spend more time with my family, go out to the zoo, go out to museums, go out to the park, just have more family time. I would also like to obviously be a better husband, be a better partner, be a better father, and I would love to see my family more. A lot of this has to do with my family, because I'd like to see my family more. I live not far from my family, but I live far enough to where it makes it complicated to visit my family. And so I'd like to make more trips out to see my family. What else do I want to do? Let's let's get happy with it, because it seems very macabre <laughs> right now. My My new year is going to be very just, oh no, I want to see my family. Oh no, I want to draw better. So... What else? What else do I want? I would like to work on my YouTube channel. That's one thing I, I definitely would like. This YouTube channel is not for me to, you know, gain anything, you know, monetarily. I would just like to do this to kind of have a, a recording, a chronological recording of my process and you know the the process of me learning how to draw the process of me learning different skills and where i am now 
at the end of the year, at the end of a month, six months, whatever have you. And I hope that you have enjoyed the video.